फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिराइव द इक्वेशन ऑफ एफिशिएंसी फॉर कार नॉट साइकिल लेट अस स्टार्ट विद इंट्रोडक्शन द साइकिल वाज फर्स्ट सजेस्टेड बाय फ्रेंच इंजीनियर शादी कारनोट इन 1824 व्हिच वर्क्स ऑन रिवर्सिबल साइकिल एंड इज नोन एज कारनोट साइकिल प्रैक्टिकली दिस साइकिल इट इज नॉट यूज्ड इन रियल लाइफ एप्लीकेशन but it's useful to compare the other cycle okay to achieve the efficiency up to 100% for the comparison we are using this cycle because in this cycle we consider 100% efficiency this cycle has the highest possible efficiency and consist of four simple operation namely isothermal expansion adiabatic expansion isothermal compression and adiabatic compression there are various assumptions whenever we derive the equation of efficiency for carnot cycle the first assumption is piston moving in a cylinder does not develop any friction during motion second assumption the wall of the piston and cylinder are considered as perfect insulator of heat means it will not reject the heat to the surrounding Assumption three: The cylinder head is so arranged that it can be perfect heat conductor or perfect heat insulator. Alternatively, four: The transfer of heat does not affect the temperature of source or sink. Assumption number five: Working medium is perfect gas and has specific heat remain constant. compression and expansion are reversible now we will discuss the various processes on pv diagram one by one so for that here we are considering the fluid used to operate the carnot cycle the head of the cylinder is suppose alternatively to be perfect conductor or perfect insulator of a heat it is caused to flow in the cylinder by the application of high temperature energy source to the cylinder head during expansion and to flow from the cylinder by the application of lower temperature energy source to the head during compression following are the four processes occur in a carnot cycle process 1 to 2 here you can see that process 1 to 2 isothermal expansion isothermal means throughout the process temperature remain constant and in expansion process volume inside the cylinder it will be increases so in process 1 to 2 hot energy source is applied here q1 or qh is taken by the cylinder head from this heat source the fluid expand isothermally and reversibly at constant temperature process so here temperature remain constant throughout the process so t1 equal to t2 process 2 to 3 the cylinder becomes a perfect insulator so that no heat flows take place the fluid expand adiabatically and reversibly we know that adiabatic process means system will not receive the heat and system will not reject the heat so here you can see that the cylinder head it will become insulator okay perfect insulator so it will not reject the heat to the surrounding so in this process temperature will falls from t2 to T3 or we can say Th to Tl higher temperature to lower temperature. It is represented on PV diagram by 2 to 3 process or on Th diagram by 2 to 3 process. Entropy remain constant. Process 3 to 4. In process 3 to 4, cold energy source. Here you can see that cold energy source means sink lower body temperature. is applied heat q2 or ql flows from the fluid while 
दिस कंप्रेस आइसोथर्मली एंड रिवर्सिबली एट कांस्टेंट टेंपरेचर सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट इन प्रोसेस 3 टू 4 ओके इट इज अ आइसोथर्मल कंप्रेशन प्रोसेस सो हियर पिस्टन विल कंप्रेस द फ्लूइड एंड थ्रू आउट द प्रोसेस टेंपरेचर रिमेन कांस्टेंट बिकॉज़ इट इज अ आइसोथर्मल कंप्रेशन प्रोसेस here we remove the cap okay of insulator so it will become conductor so cylinder head will become conductor and cylinder head it will reject the heat okay to the lower body temperature or we can say sink okay so in this process system will reject the heat and in first process system will receive the heat process 4 to 1 in process 4 to 1 cylinder head becomes a perfect insulator okay here uh, we again uh, apply the uh, cover of insulating cap so it will become insulator okay so cylinder head will not reject the heat to the surrounding there is no any transfer of heat because uh, here we will consider isentropic compression process isentropic or we can say reversible adiabatic process system will not receive the heat system will not reject the heat so in process 4 to 1 cylinder head becomes a perfect insulator so that no heat flows occur to the surrounding the compression is continue adiabatically and reversibly during which temperature is raised from t4 to t1 now we will discuss process one by one process one to two it is a reversible isothermal process here we applied the first law of thermodynamic according to the first law of thermodynamic delta q equal to delta u plus delta w where q is the heat transfer u is the internal energy and w is the work done and process two to three Okay, we know that isentropic process means system will not receive the heat and system will not reject the heat. Here the delta Q is 0 or heat transfer is 0. So Q equal to 0. So U3 minus U2 plus work done during process 2 to 3. Same for process 3 to 4. Okay, 3 to 4 is a reversible isothermal process. So, so here we are considering heat rejection is Q2. In process 1 to 2 heat supply is Q1. Okay, in process 3 to 4 heat rejection is Q2, U4 minus U3 minus work done during process 3 to 4. Same for process 4 to 1, 4 to 1 process is a isentropic compression process and we know that for isentropic process heat transfer is 0. Now we will uh, do addition on left hand side term and right hand side term and here we are considering for heat supply positive sign and for heat rejection negative sign. So, uh, in process 1 to 2, its supply is Q1 and process 3 to 4, it rejection is Q2. So, it is considered as a negative. Okay. So, here the internal energy is 0, U2 minus, U2 plus term, U2 minus term, U1 minus term, U1 plus term, U4 plus term, U4 minus term. So, remaining term is work done. Okay. So, the submission of net heat transfer equal to the submission of net work done for the cycle. Now, we will derive the equation of efficiency for Carnot cycle. Here we are considering 1 kg of working substance. It is supplied during process isothermal 1 to 2, P1 equal to P1 V1, Allen V2 by V1. Okay, we have already derived the equation of heat transfer and work done for isothermal process in my playlist of thermodynamic in non-flow processes. In non-flow processes, we have already derived the equation of work done, internal energy, enthalpy, relationship between pressure, volume and temperature for all non-flow processes. So, Q1 equal to P1 V1 Allen V2 by V1. But we know that PV equal to MRT and it is only applicable for gases. So, according to ideal gas equation, PV equal to MRT. So, P1, V1 equal to MRT1. But here we are considering M is 1 kg. So, RT1 ln V2 by V1. So, in process 1 to 2, heat supply is there during isothermal expansion. 
here you can see that here we supply the heat energy or here the temperature remains same but volume will increase and heat rejected during isothermal compression process 3 to 4 okay here we are considering process 1 to 2 for heat supply during isothermal process here you can see that okay here the temperature remain constant because it is isothermal process okay and process 2 to 3 it is adiabatic expansion but here the heat transfer is zero and temperature will uh, decrease from th to tl because it is a expansion process the process third process 3 to 4 it is a isothermal compression process so in isothermal compression process system will reject the heat okay and temperature remain constant because it is isothermal process temperature remain same and last process 4 to 1 okay it is a adiabatic compression process and in compression process pressure and temperature will be increased so temperature will increase from tl to th okay so heat rejected during isothermal compression process 3 to 4 okay in these two processes heat transfer is zero so in these two processes process 1 to 2 heat supply will be there and process 3 to 4 heat rejection will be there so q2 equal to p3 v3 ln v3 by v4 but we know that pb equal to mrt and m equal to 1 kg so rt3 ln v3 by v4 we have already discussed process 2 to 3 and process 4 to 1 okay it is a reversible adiabatic compression and reversible adiabatic expansion Okay, for adiabatic process, there is a no transfer of heat. System will not receive the heat, system will not reject the heat. So, in both the processes, heat transfer is zero. So, work done equal to, we know that heat supply minus heat rejection. So, it supplied in process 1 to 2 and heat rejected in process 3 to 4. So, W equal to Q1 minus Q2. Put the value of Q1 and Q2 from previous slide we simplified this equation we know that efficiency equal to output upon input output means work done it's supply minus it rejection and input means it's supplied so q1 minus q2 upon q1 put the value of q1 q2 and q1 so we are getting this equation so here we uh, separately divide this denominator so both the terms divide R T1 ln V2 by V1 divided by R T1 ln V2 by V1. So it is cancel out. So remaining term is R T3 ln V3 by V4 upon R T1 ln V2 by V1. Continue from previous equation. We can simplify this equation. We are getting this equation. So uh, this is the solution. How can we get this equation from this equation? Process 2 to 3 and process 4 to 1 okay it is a reversible adiabatic process okay and according to the relationship between volume and temperature for process 2 to 3 v2 by v3 equal to t2 by t3 raised to 1 upon gamma minus 1 where gamma is the adiabatic index and its value is 1.4 for adiabatic process 4 to 1 it is also adiabatic process so for adiabatic process the relationship between volume and temperature is v1 by v4 equal to t1 by t4 raised to 1 upon gamma minus 1 but we know that t1 equal to t2 t1 equal to t2 and t3 equal to t4 because this 1 to 2 process it is isothermal process and 3 to 4 it is also isothermal process so throughout the process temperature remain same so here we will put the value t2 equal to t1 and uh, t4 equal to t3 so this right hand side term it will become same so this left hand side will term is also become same so v2 by v3 equal to v1 by v4 now we will cross multiply this term each other so v2 by v1 equal to v3 by v4 so here you can see that v3 by v4 and v2 by v1 term is same okay and r r cancel 
because it is a gas characteristic constant. So, remaining term is efficiency equal to 1 minus T3 by T1. So, it is the simplification or solution. How can we get okay, the equation of efficiency from this equation? Here, T1 is the maximum temperature and T3 is the minimum temperature in the cycle. So, where maximum temperature and minimum temperature is there, here you can see that T1 equal to T2 or we can say T1 because on this line the temperature remains same. So, we can say T1 is the maximum temperature on the cycle. Same as T3 equal to T4 equal to T2. Okay, it is the minimum temperature of the cycle. So, efficiency equal to 1 minus T3 by T1 where T3 is the minimum temperature in the cycle and T1 is the maximum temperature in the cycle. This is the equation of efficiency for Carnot cycle. There are various assumptions of the Carnot cycle. The cycle cannot be performed in practice because of the following reason. We have already discussed. It is a 100% efficient cycle. Practical Nowhere use. Practically, this cycle is not used in real life application. But we are studying this cycle for comparison of the another cycle and we can uh, achieve the maximum efficiency in the another cycle by comparing with the Carnot cycle. So, these are the assumptions. The first assumption it is impossible to perform a frictionless process. It is impossible, we know that in any of the process friction is present but here we are considering frictionless process so it is not possible this cycle is not possible second one it is impossible to transfer the heat without temperature potential as we know that the definition of the heat is it is an energy due to temperature difference but in isothermal process we transfer the heat at constant temperature so it is impossible to transfer the heat without temperature potential Point 3, process can be achieved only if the piston moves very slowly to allow heat transfer so that the temperature remains constant. Adiabatic process can be achieved only if the piston moves as fast as possible so that the heat transfer is negligible due to very short time available. The isothermal and adiabatic processes take place during the same stroke. Therefore, the piston has to move very slowly for part of the stroke and it has to move very fast during remaining stroke. This variation of motion of the piston during the same stroke is not possible. So, the cycle cannot be performed in practice because of the following reason. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope this content it will be helpful to you. If you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also press bell icon 